We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Hell yeah! Nobody against it? Of course! He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me, what are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Ms. Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? We're intellectuals, you know. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you earned the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. 
Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals, which is why I made them suspects, prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up, and they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the Chosen One. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country, perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, uh, how do I put this? Well then. during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijima, who had your phone, ran into Akechi. That's when I saw my chance and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse Navigator. But there was a chance they'd just pass each other without saying a single word. That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to Akechi. This plan still surprises me no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse Nav. It's a mysterious app after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? 
It may not have looked like it, but everyone else was risking their lives too. Though there's no doubt you were the most at risk. I mean, you actually got arrested. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made you forget the details of the plan. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. I guess that's understandable. You must be pretty exhausted. Just focus on resting up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done. Oh, you want to hear it again? I guess that just... And see I'm gonna head back then. Guess you won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before, when you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you.
All right, let's head to the Diet Building. Make sure you aren't discovered, okay? You going out? You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Ugh. <sighs> the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Akeshi isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Since he's going to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Or maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. There's probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me, I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. No matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential.
Want to do it? One diamond mine. No good. How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building, too. So you enter keywords into the metaverse navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Akechi. Him and his stupid, composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then, was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, 
No one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. <sighs> well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world! I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayo Shishido! Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together! I hope to continue serving you all! Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before, at the elevators. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron. Come on, stop. But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. 
What a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit. I don't believe it. <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we've found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country, it makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the Diet Building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this.
Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? It was a match? What? The Diet Building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. All right, do it. Did anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet Building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <sighs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <sighs> the hell? Huh? <sighs> is about. Huh. This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well, yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this! We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. All right! We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. 
Wait. Is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> what is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on, let's make him see what this ship really is. Sudden movements. Everyone, with me! Beat him up! And the curtain falls. Boss, you got a new skill? All right. Leave the noobs and let's go. There's a shadow up ahead. Show me your true form! We thought the Abyss doesn't seem to have a weakness. Let's try making it dizzy. You're mine. Over. You missed? Persona! No hold barred! Let's go. I lend it! Now, let's continue. Good work, everyone. Okay. Oh, that's all. Huh? Somewhere. Oh, a treasure chest. Let's open it. True form. 
Now that it isn't a major threat, but Let's don't go. use electric attacks. That's not right. You know. Go. Understood. Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There are slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. You sure move on quick. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. 
they'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! Well then! Is there a safe room around here? This is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right, let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. Gotcha. You're right. It seems... Um... Please hear me out. Uh... 
it's no use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Really? Wow! We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right, let's get this done quickly. Hey! Mm. Well... Okay. Yo. Where have 